welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkjan Wiersma, also known as EJ. Today I have uh, hopefully another great video. I did get this request from Paula from Hillbilly Arcade. Uh, she is a uh, making a fail wall as well. She said she was inspired by my fail wall and it's always great to hear, so thank you so much. Uh, it happened before and it makes me happy. I, uh, it makes me smile because, um, yeah, it's nice to make this video and to sh to inspire one another and share tips, etc. That's that's how it basically works to YouTube. So uh, thank you so much and I, I, I think you're going to enjoy it very well. Uh, I had no idea it would be such a great success when I started this. I will give you a little bit of background information how I came up with the idea, which is basically very simple, believe it or not. We will get into that as well in this video. Anyhow, if you didn't hear from uh, Paula, her channel Hillbilly Orchids yet, I suggest you head over and have a have a look. Of course, after this video, um, because I do not grow with organic media, as you know. She does, and just recently she uploaded a video, at a sort of new media for Orchid that is uh, uh, at least in the e e uh, uh, U.S. I'm sorry, not the EU. I don't know in the EU. I didn't look it up, but very cheap. So. Um, just have a look. It's a great video and she is experimenting with it and I'm going to follow it. I did see that video and there's always some tips and tricks that you might use, uh, want to use in your own collection as well, even though I do not use the same media. Anyhow, uh, a great channel as well. So that's it and done. Uh, Paula, like I said, is working currently working on making a, her own fail wall. As she said, oh, maybe you can make a video about it and, and show um, how it's built, etc. and how you work with it. I said, of course, I'm going to do it. She didn't use that many words, but uh, I need those many words because my English is not always that good. But I, uh, I will try my best to explain. Uh, like I said, I'm going to explain how I came up with the idea, uh, how the grid is uh, Build basically how it's attached to the wall, and then uh, especially I'm going to talk about because that's very uh, I, I needed to learn that as well. It may seem very simple how you can use the wall with your pots, how you can hang them on the wall. I should say, I did make some mistakes, so I will uh, talk about that as well. So uh, let's uh, let's start. Let's start with the first subject, and that's how how I came up with the uh, with the idea with the fell wall. <laughs> So uh, let me quickly explain how I came up with the idea. You can see a little bit of a wall here. These are a few hanging pots. Those are not, uh, those are not uh, fails. But here we have a bit of a wall and we have a shelf here with quite some pots on there. And that's basically in a nutshell the story. So I started this greenhouse I think about four years ago, maybe even five. I don't, don't remember correctly. But I started with these shelving systems coming from IKEA. Not that expensive. It co they cost a little bit, but and I also did find, uh, by, by the way, a few uh, second hand. So uh, that saved me some money. Anyhow, I did uh, buy quite some shelving, and then I thought if I uh, did I did I probably didn't need more uh, shelving because I had these fails, of course, and I want them in the back of the greenhouse. I thought. When I made uh, my decision where to put the plants, I obviously looked at the light. The light was the first thing. So my fandas, my cattleyas, and over there are my dendrobiums and my miltoniopsis, not my miltoniopsis, my miltonias. Those need quite a, a, quite a bit of light. The fells are known by the way, I did forget to mention it by the intro. If you ha hear some noises on the background, I apologize. We have some work done outside of the greenhouse. So, so it, my mic might pick it up. But yeah, there's some construction work going on. I apologize if you hear it. I hope it's not too in uh, annoying. Anyhow, so that's why, how I came up with the first setup. Uh, just looking at the light because the temperatures will pretty much be the same uh, in winter. On the roof it will be slightly warmer than down on the floor of course, but in summer etc the rest of the year it will be uh, will be the same. Um, but the fails are, f especially the hybrids, the, so to say, speak winter bloomers, are uh, known that the, for that they do not need the most amount of light. So that's why I thought, that was the first thing I thought, well I can't put them over here. Uh, that would be um, the easiest uh, part of the greenhouse to put them. 
but then I started with the shelving and I noticed of course that I need, needed quite uh, quite a uh, amount of these LED lamps and they take up space the shelving so I thought um, Maybe maybe it's going to work, maybe not. And then, of course, I looked. Uh, this is not my biggest fail at all, but look at the leaves. This one has old spikes, that's why I grabbed it. If you can imagine how much room this, this single plant needs on a shelf. Well, I have on this shelf, I don't know if you can see it. Here are my um, uh, Brassocadlea types, Brassavola types. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Uh, one fairly big pot, but the eleven pots. Try to uh, get eleven fails this side on this shelf. It's nearly impossible. Uh, first of all, I needed to let them grow upwards again instead of uh, sideways, but this is what they do eventually. But anyhow, and then again, uh, I, I, it doesn't fit. These, this is the, almost the smallest pot. I have them in the buckets, as you probably know. There's just no way. I can only, if I have the big ones, probably two fails. Maybe here and there a few small. So you, you know what I'm getting at. They, they, they take up so much space if you put them on shelving. And then I thought, well, I have this wall, this brick wall, which I, which I really enjoy. I love bricks, by the way, <laughs> the look of it. Um, then I thought, if I burn holes in the pots and I put some hooks in there and a grid, I should be able to hook them on the grid and just let them hang. It's very, very simple. And I did that in, in, inside of the home, just before I did get the greenhouse. I had the grids in front of the window, yeah, it didn't look uh, very nice, but it worked. So I thought if I grab the grids and put them on the wall, it should work basically the same thing, uh, same way. And plus, what you have, the darker side, the wall is behind the fell, so it will grow towards the light. Uh, the plant itself and the spike so it can start to arch over which I really love uh, uh, there's something about it I, I love the look of it and you will have the roots as you can see this one is growing towards the, uh, the wall because there is the darkest so that should work as well my only concern was there is the heater as you can see just above there I was like and on the other side I have even so felt who are hanging lower than that I was like, ah, I'm not sure if those will get enough light. And then I thought there's only one way to find out. Because you can watch videos and people uh, uh, are talking about light and they try to film it, but it's not the same unless you are in the same room. Because my camera picks up this as the brightest now, which is the brightest, and makes the rest above me, around me, quite dark. It is not that dark, but it's hard. That's what ca cameras do. So. In the end, um, uh, I think I did say it to uh, Paul as well. You, you can work with lights, and 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 maybe you want to paint the background, the the wall white to to get more light over there. Um, I was at a certain point. You just need to try it. That's basically what I'm saying because. The, a, a very light background is not that handy as well because then you probably will have that the spikes will grow towards the wall. I saw this happening uh, at uh, Miss Ockergirl in her old uh, greenhouse. She did a video about it where the spikes just were touching the, the wall because it was so bright and light and the light was reflecting on it that they turned around. So that's not ideal as well. I suggest keep your back, background um, as dark as possible not obviously not too dark but dark as dark so as dark as possible so your plants will grow th towards the light and you can uh, let them grow in a certain direction because you, it just depends where you hang lights where you put lights so you have a bit of control there as well so that's my um, that were a few first tips. But that, that's basically in a nutshell how uh, I came up with the idea of a wall, a fell wall. And I, I love fell, so I knew I would buy more and more and more. And, and suddenly I saw the picture and I saw all those fells hanging, blooming. And I thought, if I can manage to get them that far and get them happy and strong, it must look amazing. 
and the best video by far of all videos that I did make about my uh, plants is the one um, I think it's the first one where I do show my my fail wall in full bloom, something like that. I, I will link it in this video if you're curious. It's a beautiful video and it's just, for me it took off. Uh, I don't have a very big channel, but uh, yeah, if you look at the amounts, the views, that's the biggest video. It has 10,000, 12,000 I believe, 12,000 something. So for me that's quite, quite a bit. And I completely understand why. It's a beautiful video. It's, it's something different. Uh, of course you have have those green walls that people uh, call them uh, green walls where you have all the plants there but I never saw one wall with with almost only fails I here and there I have a carnivore plant and something else a um, a Hoya and that's it the rest is only fails and it's beautiful and especially of course if they start to bloom there's a sea of flowers and yeah I am, but I had, had no idea, that's basically what I'm saying. I had no idea it would turn out so well. And my fowls seem to love it. They make uh, aerial uh, roots uh, very easily. That's also a downside that reminds me that I also put in the comment, the first comment uh, at Paula's. These might attach to the wall. And once they do attach, you basically cannot uh, move them anymore. Or you need to be in time and make sure the root cannot attach. I, I leave them attached if they want to, so I have some files that cannot come off the wall. But if you change the position here and there, which I do, um, you, you hang them on different places because you have more files. Or one is getting bigger and needs more room, etc. Um, not all the area roots will attach because you did move them. But like I said, I have a few. I will film it in a, in a bit. It looks, it looks amazing if you ask me. So I just leave them there. So, uh, but that's, that's basically uh, the start of a fail wall. Yeah, the room they did take up. And if you have them on a wall, you save so much space. You save so much space. So uh, that's the first uh, first one. Let's uh, let's have a look at the actual construction, and then we're going to talk about the hooks and this, the basically setup uh, of the plants themselves. Let's let's put it like that. Let's uh, let's head over to the next subject. <laughs> So I think this is the easiest way. I just grabbed the camera in my hand and I will give you just a look. These are the hanging plants, but in the back you can see there the fails. And now you can see they now they look a bit lighter. And it's probably because you see there it goes. It just depends on the where the camera focus. Anyhow, and here in the corner it's a bit crowdy over here. <laughs> But all fails, fails, fails. And as you can see, the bigger pots, well, like I said, try to uh, manage them on a shelf. These are huge. I have a repotting uh, session, if you're curious. I will link that video as well. I think it's, it's a very nice video to watch if you love uh, repottings. And look at this area. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, uh, the area roots. Now, these are in front of the pot, but look there. There they go. Those are definitely attached in that corner there. You can hopefully see it if I put my finger not in the way. <laughs> but up here, you see, those roots are all attached. And that big root is coming from this arcade. So this one needs to stay here. Yeah, this one could hang a little bit higher, you see. That's why you need to rehang them from time to time. They are now starting to touch, which I don't like. I like to have, give them their own space. But anyhow, so that might happen. I don't, it's not a problem for me, but um, when I needed to, uh, when I did get my uh, new floor and greenhouse, I needed to take them off and you see these are just resembling. So that happens if they really need to move, you will break those roots. But yeah, that's, that's, that can happen, but I, I hope I never have to move them again. <laughs> but they look so, so great, especially with those roots. So that's the, that was about the roots. Well, the grid, the, well, the biggest tip I can give about the, the grid is just, I did find the cheapest one. It's a nice, thick material, but I did go to a, uh, well, we don't have here the Home Depots, as you have in the US, but it's a similar uh, store. I did go there and they have several, uh, grids there and I just pick up the cheapest one. This one is actually used for outside for plants that are climbers. So you can put it in, in uh, outside and let the, the plants climb. 
these these are they move quite 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 a bit they are a bit sloppy i believe as you can say and but it doesn't matter really um, as long as they're strong enough if, and you need a good structure so a wooden structure we have a bit of wood here in the middle and down there hope you can see it so it needs obviously be very very secured very well secured onto the wall we need you use these nails i don't know how to call them but well, you probably will know or your husband will know <laughs> how to uh, secure it very well to the to the wall because it will get heavy with all those pots and if you look at them and you know my system i have a bit of a reservoir just so there's always always a bit of water in those pots as well and water is, can become quite heavy the pumice is not that heavy but in the plants itself it depends of course on how big they are <laughs> But yeah, the water will make it uh, very heavy and all the pots together, of course. So yeah, you need to secure it very well. But go to your Home Depot or something similar and not to those home decoration stores. They will sell uh, similar stuff, but those are two, three times, maybe four times the price that they paid for these grids. They, those were very cheap. So yeah, you need to look into that. If you ask me, it can save uh, save you quite some money. But you can see, I have so much room. I'm not using the upper section that much because I'm always afraid. Here's the door to my uh, orchid room. And of course, I need some space. So what I do from time to time, I look at my plants and I just open carefully the door as this. And I'm sorry for the noise and just see if something is touching or not. But I don't believe you have a door, but you can use a door, of course. You can have it in front of your windows. That's uh, our home behind that window. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to clean, but I don't mind. It's a, it's a very fairly dark room anyways, and it's okay. Uh, we have the refrigerator there, etc. So we don't need uh, much light over there. It's okay. Obviously, you could cut out the the shape of the windows of course it's very easy to cut this uh, this material so it's, it's very uh, very yeah very easy to easy to use let me have a look over here here yeah here you see two pieces of wood and then you see aerial roots and look over here how many aerial roots isn't that funny i love it i absolutely love it <laughs> but yeah it can be a bit of a pain if you uh, need to move them but you see the, the roots are really going for the darkest areas and it makes uh, makes the wall complete if you ask me it, it looks so great oh yeah and one other is the vanilla arc it's over here as well but mostly as you can see fails 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 so now uh, that we had a look at uh, the actual grid itself and how we uh, did attach it here to the wall uh, we need to work with it, of course. That's the most beautiful part of it. As soon as you have it secured on the wall, you can start putting your plants there. There are several ways, of course, to do that. I'm just going to explain uh, uh, the way I do it and, and why. Uh, first of all, uh, like I said earlier, I did burn uh, a hole in a pot. I know there are two now, but I started with one, just one hole. And I did put my plant in there and I bought these little hooks. So you can put a hook through the hole, uh, there we go, and attach it like this to the wall. Let's do that. I made a little bit of room over here. So uh, your plant, imagine your beautiful plant in there and you hook it to the wall and there you go. It's hanging now on the wall. It may be silly to a lot of you, <laughs> a lot of you guys, but what I did, as you saw, I just used one hook. A, tip there if you're going to use hooks use at least two hooks at per pot because what you now and I this happened to me you guys what you now will have eventually those plants are moving we don't see them move but they are growing they are they are moving uh, what will happen one day is that this pot as you can see it can turn very easily like this and it's still hanging on a, on a wall and it can also go this way very easily 
So that happens one day. I came uh, into the greenhouse and I was like, what's that on the floor? All that media. The plant luckily was still hanging inside of the pot, so it didn't break. Nothing really bad happened, but a lot of media did fell out. And I thought, yeah, I should have known that because the hook, the material of the hook is round, as you can see, and the whole of the pot is also round. And round things can turn. They can turn all the way, as you can see. So uh, yeah, you need to avoid that. So you need two hooks. So I thought, okay, obviously I, th these are about an inch apart. So uh, of course I need two hooks. So I did buy two hooks and then I did uh, put them back on a wall like this. Well, you already see me struggling, but I will come to that um, in a minute. Let's put it there. So now the turning around is over. I, I move it a little bit by, by force. You can move it like this, but uh, out of its own, on its own, it will not move anymore because the hooks will keep it in place. They will keep it balanced. So that works fine, but now comes another problem, at least for me it was a problem. Like I said, I like, that's the beauty of the wall, you have room, you can move your plants. So sometimes I see that a lot of plants are on a specific spot of the wall, so I like to give them a little bit more room. So what I do, I pick up my plants and uh, watch the hooks. Let, uh, let me uh, zoom in a little bit, because this is going to happen. Uh, I'm going to zoom in, here we go. Yes, there we are. The hooks. Okay, I'm going to grab the pot from the wall. Do you see that? They are basically everywhere. They will fall down. The camera, yeah, there you see. So this is going to be incredibly annoying. I'm going to zoom out now, so don't get dizzy. Like this. So yeah, this is uh, what happens. And for me, it was incredibly annoying because you're working with your plants. You want to move them. You want to hang them for a second there. Do they look okay? They're not really. You want to move them again. Imagine these hooks falling over constantly. And you need to put them into place again, hold them with one hand, and you also need to hold your pot. Anyhow, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, not fun to work with, if you ask me. And if you have a few plants, it may not be the end of the, the world. I have more than 19, I believe I have 19, eight, 90, 98, 98 uh, fails currently. So you can imagine that I would like to have a bit of an easier system. Uh, where is my example? Well, let's grab you. Here we go. So what I did came up with, you see these hooks stay in place. Or they might move a little bit, but not much. And I hope you can see it, a little black spot over there, it's a uh, cable tie. I did cut off the uh, loose end. And now I basically made one hook with two hooks. Or from two hooks I did uh, make one again, just how you wanna call it. But what you have now is like you could see now, they will keep in place. So it's very easy to move this plant. You can hang it, you can have a look. Do I like it over there? Or is it touching something? Yes, it's touching something. Or I don't like it there, I move it. I grab it, and you see, hooks stay into place. A tip, but I found it to be so annoying, those hooks flying everywhere. Of course, you don't have to use hooks. Let me grab quickly this one. Um, because before I started uh, working with the hooks, I thought I needed these baskets, which basically have the hooks on, attached there. You can hang them uh, very easily as well. I still have them, but like I said, I have 98 fails now, so I needed a lot of these baskets. And the hooks are way cheaper, so uh, I don't buy these anymore. I have them, and they are very handy for uh, the smaller pots. Can you see them? Yeah, this one is in the pot. This barely fits in there, but I have a smaller one over here. Yeah, you can see it. Um, as soon as they start to grow bigger, they need an up potty. I will use a pot that has the actual hooks because the bigger pots do not uh, fit in this one anymore. You cannot, uh, I use those pockets, uh, pots, the size of a bucket. Yeah, those do not fit anymore. So then you need to come up with a different plant. And like I said, the hooks is just very easy. Uh, I just uh, burn a hole in a pot and that's it. 
uh, two holes, two holes, and not one, two holes. And then you can uh, hang them over there and, and it works perfectly fine. It's so easy and it's, it looks so great. What I also have happened quite often uh, at, at, at the point where they start making spikes, the ones on top, the spikes are touching the roof. So you grab them with, with one hand because not, not everything is very easy to, uh, yeah, I'm keeping <laughs> looking at the ones that are hanging above there, uh, near the roof. I can barely grab them just with one hand, take them off and the hooks stay into place so um, it's, it's not, uh, they are not getting all of the place and I can re-hang them very easily. Like I said, with one hand in most cases, it's very easy. So uh, that's the biggest tip. I uh, learned that the hard way. Like I said, nothing did break, but I had a lot of media on the floor. <laughs> So I think I did cover uh, everything as far uh, as I know and as I can see currently. Uh, it's, it's not a very difficult system, but I can imagine if you're working with it, you're not completely sure how to make it. Uh, I can I, I completely understand why Paula did ask me this question. And if, I hope it did make, uh, did, did make a, a beautiful video. I could make a beautiful video out of it. <laughs> uh, words are something uh, sometimes a little bit hard anyhow, but um, and yeah, like I said earlier, it just looks magnificent. I, I love it, I absolutely love it. Uh, and with files, they, it saves room. And that is the, my, was my biggest motivation out of all to make this. And now, uh, now it works perfectly fine. And it looks very beautiful. Speaking of which, I am planning uh, my next video on doing my arcade, uh, my fail spike hunt. Because uh, maybe you saw here and there are some spikes sticking out. The fails are really starting to, to uh, spike. And it's also a very fun video. A lot of people enjoy it as well. So um, that's a video. Basically, I'm going to grab the camera and have a look at all my files and see if they're spiking. Have they one spike? Have they two spike? Spikes or even more? The older spikes are they dying back, etc. But especially the new spikes are they are, are they starting or not? And that will give us a little bit of an indication what we might expect once they uh, start to bloom, which might be end of December, January, uh, uh, some, will be, uh, some will be a little bit earlier, but I think the most of them, the majority will be at the end of s December. I think uh, first, of, first week of January, I, I think, I'm not sure. We shall see how quickly they uh, grow. Anyhow, that is uh, my next video. So uh, I hope you enjoy fails, I do. And uh, that's, that video is the wait uh, for us. Um, speaking of which, this was a, a request a video, a new videos to make. Um, if you have a request, please let me know, of course. I, I'm always open for requests. Basically, I want to talk about everything, it doesn't matter. Um, and I, sometimes I have these questions which I uh, like to f start a film as well. Uh, those will be coming as well. I do not have that many yet, but I will combine them and make one video out of them. But if you have a specific uh, subject like this one today, it really deserves one video and I, I love to make it. So uh, keep those questions coming. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, of course. And if you didn't already have, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for those who did subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. It absolutely does. I love it. I love making these videos. I love my hobby. And it's, uh, I'm even going to love it more and more and more if you uh, people let me know you enjoy this video. So uh, thank you so much. That was a thumbs up for you guys. <laughs> I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.